In media news today, Katie Couric says she reached out to Matt Lauer, offered sympathetic texts following his 2017 sexual misconduct scandal, The View blasts LeBron James for refusing to advocate for the coronavirus vaccine, and networks avoid McAuliffe's debate remark opposing parents having a say in what schools teach. The political news outlet The Hill was slammed by critics on Thursday for labeling the decades-old Hyde Amendment as controversial. Senator Joe Manchin, DW.Virginia announced on Wednesday that he would refuse to vote for the Democrats' reconciliation bill if it didn't include the Hyde Amendment. Manchin told the National Review that any version of the reconciliation bill that Democrats hope to pass will have to include the Hyde Amendment to earn his vote. Yeah, we're not taking the Hyde Amendment off. Hyde's going to be on, Manchin said. He later added, it has to be. It has to be. That's dead on arrival if that's gone. The Hyde Amendment, first passed in 1977, prohibited Medicaid and other federal programs from providing taxpayer dollars for abortions. For decades the Hyde Amendment received wide bipartisan support. President Biden supported Hyde protections for most of his political career but flipped when he became president, following the growing leftward trend in the Democrat Party on the issue. Senator Joe Manchin, DW.VA, walks out of the U.S. Capitol to speak to members of the media, Thursday, September 30, 2021. In Washington. Critics slammed the Hill for labeling the Hyde Amendment as controversial and noted that recent polls show a majority of Americans support the protections. A January 2021 Marist poll found Americans back the Hyde Amendment 58% to 38%. Nearly identical to results of Politico Harvard poll from 2016 National Review White House correspondent John McCormick tweeted. Republican strategist Doug High asked, controversial to whom? The majority of the public supports it. That once included Joe Biden. Washington Examiner reporter Kimberly Ross wrote, props to Senator Manchin for insisting that the Hyde Amendment be included in reconciliation legislation. Despite loud claims to the contrary, Hyde isn't extreme at all. It just keeps federal funds from going to pay for abortions. It should always be protected. The Hyde Amendment is controversial. Biden was a supporter of it for 40 years. Changed his mind during the campaign National Review senior writer David Hassani also wrote. However, many progressive were outraged by Manchin's ultimatum and vowed to fight him. Squad member Representative Rashida Tlaib, D. Mick, tweeted, this on a day where I rep Jimmy Parle at Cora Bush and at rep Barbara Lee are courageously testifying before at oversight ends about their lived experiences. This, during a time when we are fighting back against an attack on women's right to health care and choice. As the right to reproductive health care is under attack across the country. As I was testifying in the committee about my personal experience with getting an abortion. As you block life-saving legislation in the Senate. As you profit off of blocking these bills. Shame on you fellow squad member representative Cory Bush, Demo. Wrote. Manchin has faced immense pressure from progressive Democrats for opposing President Biden's $3.5 trillion spending bill. While I am hopeful that common ground can be found that would result in another historic investment in our nation, I cannot and will not support trillions in spending or an all-or-nothing approach that ignores the brutal fiscal reality our nation faces, Manchin said. There is a better way and I believe we can find it if we are willing to continue to negotiate in good faith. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.